Hey Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui. Sun has already set, but it's a beautiful evening. I'm sorry you can't see the ocean. Uh, I just want to talk to you tonight about the seven P's of battle. And, you know, I really find a lot of inspiration from Scripture. And so I'd like to start sharing some of the stories that have most inspired me out of the Bible and how it applies to our recovery. And so basically there was a story in the Old Testament where Jehoshaphat was king and three armies came against him. It was a vast army and he had no hope to defeat these people. And so he said, we are going to inquire of the Lord. And so he brought all the people together and they petitioned God. So that's the first P is petition. When you're in need like you are with CFS, it's really important to ask God for help. And so that's what Jehoshaphat did. They petitioned him and they said, we need your help. And they reminded him of his promises to Israel. And so they talked about the promises that had been given and were like, God, our eyes are on you. We look to you. So that's been a really important principle in my recovery is holding on to the promises of God. Like by his stripes, I am healed. Uh, I am the Lord Jehovah Rapha, your healer. Blessed be the Lord who heals all your diseases. So those are promises that I would meditate on after petitioning, God, I need your help. Here are your promises in scripture. And that's exactly what Jehoshaphat did. He reminded God of the promises that he had given Israel. And so the next thing that happened was they heard back from God through their prophet saying, okay, take up your position. And that's the third P. Your position is to go into battle, but don't do anything. Just go and stand in your position because the battle is not yours, it's mine. And so I think that's a really important principle for us with CFS is recognizing we can't overcome this. This thing is crazy, right? But with the right guidance from God, we will overcome. And so take up your position. The position is faith and belief in God that he will do what he has said. So the next thing that Jehoshaphat did was they praised God. Now the interesting thing in is, is that they didn't have the victory yet, but he set up singers and musicians to begin to praise God while they were holding their position in the battleground, knowing God was gonna deliver. So this is like, uh, investing in your victory, your praising. So you're putting that praise into it saying, God, I want to thank you for what you're going to do. So that's another really important element in the battle. So the next P, the fifth P, let me look. Ah power that's when it comes in then you see God's power you're gonna see him move on your behalf and whether that's bringing you a resource that you need or giving you an insight that you have or finding just the right supplement that makes a difference for you I have had these treasures all along my recovery and frankly I couldn't have done that without divine help and so that's the next thing is power number five that P you need is God's power to bring this about for you and then the next P is the sixth P, and that's plunder. So what, oh, what happened with Jehoshaphat is that the power part was that God came in and demolished all those armies. They actually began to fight against each other, and they all defeated each other because there were three separate armies that turned on each other. And so... Uh, that was the power of God. And as Jehoshaphat and they came to see where the armies were, they were all laid waste. And there was all this plunder. And the scripture records that they had to spend three days gathering the plunder of the enemy. And so your plunder is vitality and health. And so as you stand in your position and you praise and you see the power of God, you are going to come into your plunder. Okay, so keep waiting on that plunder because it's coming. And then the seventh P of battle is praise. So after they plundered for three days and they brought in all the spoils, Jehoshaphat was very sure to set up, again, minstrels, musicians, people praying praising God for all the victory that he brought. So that's an important principle. You praise him before the victory, absolutely critical. And you praise him after the victory. So when you found that you have new strength and new ability to do things, you're sure to give him thanksgiving for the ways that he's brought you through. And I know that, you know, this, 
that's been really important to me is just to sing God, sing praises to God and thank Him for all that He's already done in my journey and all that He's yet to do. So Warriors, I hope that those seven P's of battle will be helpful for you. If you're not a person of faith, I encourage you to check it out. Check out the Bible, check out what the Bible says, not what everybody else says about Christianity. Go to the original source and find out what it says and find your encouragement and your hope and help in it. So remember Warriors, life isn't over, it's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.